All right, we are almost back home from our Christmas journey. And on the way home, we are starving. So we decided to stop in Gainesville super quick to get something to eat. Timber just woke up, so she's in the car. She's gonna come in, but she had to kind of get her shoes on and stuff. And behind us is BJ's Restaurant and Brewery. And we just searched on the phone, found it looked like a good place. It does have a pretty large gluten-free menu. So we decided to stop and give it a try. Let's go check it out. It's also freezing right now. It's so cold. It's, I think I looked and it said it was 40 degrees. So we are freezing. Gonna run inside, gonna check the hours. Now open late. So wonder how late late is. They also have takeout. It says brew house, restaurant. BJ's, come over here and look at the happy hour. It says restaurant hours, Sunday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to midnight. And then here are their happy hour items. It looks like they've got a little outdoor seating area with some heaters on, which they definitely need. And then we can go through this revolving door right in here. And this is where we will get seated. We still have a Christmas tree. That's what it looks like on the inside. It looks really nice in here. You can see this is what the bar looks like. They've got some TVs up there. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And then over to the right over here where you can do takeout are the restrooms. Nice bar though. Here are some of their daily specials. On the very far wall over there are all of their brews. And we're actually gonna get seated right this way, right here. Sweet, let's have a look at the menu. We have shareable appetizers. They have a barbecue tri-tip slider. Sounds pretty good. There's some chicken wings. Looks like they got some good sauces snacks and small bites if we turn the page we've got steaks and slow roasted favorites chicken and slow roasted sandwiches loaded burgers and then over here we have specialty entrees And if you see the GS, they've got gluten-sensitive items. Pasta favorites. Garden fresh entree salads. And you can see down there, gluten-sensitive item. And then on the back, we have deep dish pizzas and world-famous pizza cookies. That's hard to say. But I noticed down here, they have gluten-free thin crust. Also, look at these drinks. Look at all these teas and lemonades. I don't know which one I'm gonna get, but that's the most I've ever seen. Now, there's a look at the menu. They've got a lot. Over here, they have the beer menu, which I'm gonna go kind of quick on this because there's so many. Wow. Sometime I want to come and try some of these. Look at these ciders. The issue is that we're tired, so I don't want to have any alcohol tonight. I just want to have some caffeine. And then here's the back side of the beer menu. They've got a ton. Look at the signature cocktails too. But like I said, since we are driving and we've been in the car for <laughs> over seven hours, definitely just want some caffeine to finish out our trip. And then over here we have Savor the Season. Pizuki Trio. Three mini Pizukis. That sounds very good. And then on this side, eat, drink, and be merry. And I think that's really it. They've got this little thing on the table here. Sparkling Sangria Flight. I think that's it. Now, I did ask about all these teas and lemonades, and I ended up going with, I guess it's an Arnold Palmer. It's the 
sunset peach tea lemonade. She said the sunset peach is just like sweet tea with the syrup. Um, I didn't know which one to choose though because there's a lot of options. So the lavender lemonade sounds good. The peach berry iced tea. Ooh, I probably would have got that. Maybe I can substitute some out. I'm not sure, but they all sounded very good. And then if we're looking at the dessert, gluten-free chocolate chip. I will say their, their menu is very good. I think I want to try pizza here, though. It sounds really good, although they do have a lot of good-looking options. So Timber's going to get the enlightened kale and roasted Brussels sprouts salad. That sounds good. I think I do want to try a pizza. Might try the gluten-free crush just to see what it's like, but it looks like maybe that's only one, one size, but it is thin crust. It's always fun to try their regular pizza though too, the regular pizza crust. I think I'll just try a regular shareable pizza with the regular crust. And I think I'm gonna try the I don't know. I honestly don't know. This is going to be a last second decision. I am very impressed with all of their gluten-free, gluten-sensitive options. They have quite a bit. Timber actually is switching it up. She's going to do the starter soup and salad and do the clam chowder soup and then just the house salad. It is pretty late-ish, so don't want to just stuff ourselves. But man, everything sounds good. Those sound good, but I don't really want to eat sriracha at night. All right, I think I'm gonna do the chicken bacon ranch. That's what I'm gonna do. I ended up going with the Brussels sprouts for an appetizer to try, so I went ahead and did it. All right, let's give this a try. It's almost like a, it's very good. It's almost like a more gourmet tea. I don't know if that's even a thing, but a fancier tea. A fancier Arnold Palmer, I should say, but it's very good. Here's a look at those Brussels sprouts. I wonder how spicy they really are. But if you recall from our video in Inverness of the Bistro and we said they had the best Brussels sprouts, I wanna compare these. So we have those and then here's the salad for the soup and salad. Also, they gave me a pizza stand, so I'm looking forward to the pizza. I'm gonna dig into these now. All right, let's give the Brussels a try. They have a slight spice to them, a little spice. I do not think they're as good as the one in Inverness. They're not as crispy, but they are good. I just I don't think they're quite as good as the ones in Inverness. So the ones in Inverness are still the best, but these aren't a bad option either. A little spicy though. And here's a look at the pizza. So it is kind of a pricey pizza for the size. Essentially it's six slices, but it is a thick messy looking pizza so you do get a lot of like toppings and stuff on there so hopefully it's good because i think it was like twenty dollars this is how one of the slices look now i will say the gluten-free said it was thin crust so i would have been curious to see what thin crust is like also i have been saying this wrong it's pizuki and i've been saying pizuki so it's pizuki let's try the pizza now i think the best way to tackle this is to eat it with a fork because i think it's going to be way too messy to do just holding it. Here's a look at the clam chowder soup. That's a pretty big bowl. Looks very good. Here comes the pizza. That's got very good taste to it. Not very crispy on the bottom of the crust, but I'm gonna try the actual like end crust to see. But the flavor and like the ranch and stuff on it, that's really good. Now I'm gonna try the crust decent crunch to it it's kind of got like a it's kind of like a raised air crust or whatever you want to call it but not bad now i can actually hold it all right are you awake now how's the soup it's good soup i'm gonna give it a try now i mean we literally have been driving all day so we're exhausted but here's the soup oh yeah that's nice and creamy that's good we are definitely gonna have some leftovers here, which is great news, that's what we wanted. If you go to their website, look at their menu and look at these bazookies, if you're looking at all their flavors and stuff, they have many versions of it, like this trio, but you don't even have to get the trio, you can even just get one mini bazooki, which is what we're gonna do, and one of the flavors is gluten-free. I mean, there are so many flavors on there, so you'll have to go to their website and look, but it's cool, you can get a large one or a mini one. I will say, these are very heavy, like, toppings, 
So you could easily share the 11 inch because I've already had just two pieces and I'm actually pretty full now. Two people could easily share the 11 inch. So we ended up ordering the mini gluten-free bazooki. All right, and here is the gluten-free bazooki. And honestly, it took about 12 minutes to get, so it did take an extremely long time, but the mini one is about the right size. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, that's tasty. It like just melts in your mouth. Wow. That's almost like, what would you say? Cookie dough that just melts in your mouth? Yes. With ice cream? That's tasty. You're gonna lick the bowl? <laughs> you like it a lot? Then here is the bill, and it shows $51.57 prior to the tip. But I think, like we mentioned before, it is a little expensive. However, we do have lunch for tomorrow. So part of that price is another meal for tomorrow. So divide it by two, you're talking about $26 per meal for us. Not bad at all. Next time I come, if I got a pizza, we would just share one like gluten-free pizza because that was plenty. All right, now we are heading out with our lunch for tomorrow. All right, that was our trip out to BJ's Restaurant and Brewery here in Gainesville. We are extremely tired. I think Timber's probably already asleep right now, but it honestly was a decent place. There's a couple negatives. One, it took like an hour and 15 minutes, which we really didn't want to take that long tonight. We wanted to get home. And two, the price, a little pricey. Um, I'll throw in a third one, the pizza. It was okay. Uh, the flavor was very good. The, the, the crust and stuff was more of like a fluffy crust instead of like a crispy crust. I would prefer a crispy crust um, and not as many, not as much toppings on top. Oh, I'm starting to shiver, it's freezing. Um, the dessert was fantastic. It was amazing. One of my favorite things was the dessert. I know Timber's favorite was the, the dessert. And um, overall, they had a huge menu. I'd like to come back and try a few more things. Sorry if the camera's shaking right now. I am like shivering. Uh, but anyway, it was a neat little place. Just be prepared to, it, it does take a little bit and also it's a little bit more pricey. So maybe a special occasion you can come out. Um, they did have a good alcohol menu if you wanted to do that, but I'm gonna end the video now because I am freezing. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.